Good afternoon, everyone, on the MYBC Consulting Facebook page. Thank you for sticking around because this one is worth learning about. So, you know, the where in the world is dot, dot, dot. A W5 story session is where I bring you people from my connections, recent connections, or people I don't even know anything about. And I ask them the most important questions in the world, according to me, is who, what, where, when, and why. So without further ado, who are you? Well, my name is John Pogashar. Well, John Pogashar, what are five who hats you wear in this world? Five who hats? Well, um, I'm a father. Um, I'm a grandfather. I'm uh, an author. Hmm. Um, I, am, I am a student and I'm a teacher. Ooh, so let's go for grandfather. What is one thing you like to do as being a grandfather? Oh, just the, the most favorite thing I like about being a grandfather is just to watch and listen mm. to what the children are doing. Ooh, that's deep. That's very deep. Yeah. So as a author, what do you like to author or, or write? What kind of books do you like to um, write? The books I'm writing right now are children's books, but they're more for the uh, parents and the grandparents than they are for the child. Inter uh, that's an interesting take when you purposely write a, uh, a children's book or children's books for uh, parents. That's cool. So, um, John, where in this big blue marble called Earth do you <laughs> live and where can people buy your books? So I am right now in Big Fork, Montana. And you can buy my books <gasps> on Amazon. Mm -hmm. This one is Mom and Dad, um, 10 Things I Want You to Know About Nature. And the first book was Mom and Dad, 10 Things I Want You to Know Before I Was Even, you know, that first week of birth. So. Oh, that's so cool. So, John, when did you decide you wanted to take pen to paper or pen to whatever medium or fingers to keyboard to be able to write books? You know, before, Jeanette, before my first grandson was born, I had this inkling that maybe I could also write a book because I had heard somebody else going, well, we wrote a book for our grandchild. And I got, you know, I could do that too. I was just in a spot of my life that I just said yes to that idea, that notion. It's like, you know what, I can do it. And I went to bed that night with the idea that I was going to write a book, that if something idea came to me, I was going to jump out of bed and do that. And sure enough, at one o'clock in the morning, that whole thing came to fruition. And I did jump out of bed and just start writing. Wow. So what prompted the second book? That's an interesting title. Very interesting the, title. The second book came out just like, hey, there is, I know there's a series here. There's something else, you know. And I love being out into nature, in nature. So it just seemed that was the next natural place to be. And it was a call to get mom and dad out into nature. And it was a call to uh, let them see like there's birds out there that are singing their song. And so are we all singing our song too? Are we all, do we, everybody has this, um, this um, purpose or this gift that they need to give. And I think birds wake up and they just start singing. And I was so much enthralled with that idea. And mountains are there to let us know we have things to climb, both out in nature and both in our own world, in our own mm. world that we have going on. It's like, and it's okay to climb the mountain and you're okay climbing it. And it's just like taking one step after another step after another step, so. It sounds both physical and very metaphorical. I, I love those kind of books where it kind of puts you into a headspace and go, oh, I could apply that to that situation as well, what I just learned. So yeah. fantastic. I'm going to loop back to uh, the grandparent question, uh, the grandfather question. John, how many grandchildren do you have? I have two grandsons. Ooh. Two. Yeah. What a beautiful legacy to live for them. So John, I always love to wrap these up with, to me, it's the when moments in our life that we show the world our gifts to kind of in a weird and wonderful way, defend our why in life. 
or to show or demonstrate our why in life. So you've written books to show your why. One of your why's, what is your, what is John Pogashar's why in life? I just, I think it's about just sharing with more people my gifts. It's about allowing people to know there's, there's so much gift in them also that they don't have to maybe go to a nine to five job, although that's fine, but it's just like bring, if you're gonna do those kind of things, bring joy, bring love, have fun, dance through your day and just watch the miracles happen instead of just trudging to work. But there's magic in every moment. So I'm gonna put a, a magical moment here because I'm gonna put you a little bit on the spot, John. You're in your car. Do you want to dance us out? Do a car <laughs> dance for us? <laughs> I just love that. I love that. Yeah, we can just have fun and just dance. You know, you don't have to be on a dance floor. You don't have to be in a club or a bar, you know, but you could be out in your car and just have fun with it. You know, Beautiful. It's, like, it's like James Corden and carport karaoke, just dance, you know, or sing or laugh and just have fun with your day. Absolutely. We, we just, we take things so seriously. It's like, oh. what if we just played like a kid and just danced and played and have fun? You know, how much life, what would life be like that if we all did that? Absolutely. So thank you, John, for sharing, I'm sure, just a very small portion of your unique to UW5 story. We'll make sure that uh, after this video is done and uploaded to Facebook, that we'll get, um, I have John's two links to buy his book on Amazon in Canada and Amazon uh, in the United States as well. So stay tuned next week at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for another edition of Where in the World Is dot 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 a W5 story session. It's in that dot 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 where the answers live. So thank you, everybody. Tune in again and see me. Thanks, Jeanette.